Greta, your first strike was a lonely event a little over a year ago. And in the intervening time, you have sparked the interest of millions, literally, of children around the globe, demanding action for change. What's your message to world leaders today? Um, my message is that Rush is the best. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school, listening to my Sony Walkman. Yet, you all come to us young people for YouTube reactions. How dare you? You have stolen my vinyl and my CDs with your lossy streaming. And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. I use Cobas. Music is dying. Entire record companies are collapsing. We're in the beginning of mass auto-tune, and all you can talk about is money and pitch correction of AI music bots. How dare you? For more than 50 years, the music has been crystal clear. How dare you continue to look away and come here saying that you listen to Rush when you still say you don't like Geddy Lee's voice and that Alex Lifeson is not that good. You say you hear us and that you understand prog metal. But no matter how sad and angry I am, I do not want to believe that. Because if you really understood the situation and listened to all Rush, then you would love I Think I'm Going Bald and the epic Tai Shan. The popular idea of crapping on Caress of Steel by many people has only been influenced by the sadness of the boys and ignoramuses and their henchmen bearing down on them at their weakest. Dang you down the tubes tour and your tiny venues. But those points do not include the use of the gefilte, a device of musical genius that is impervious to time and can decipher if music is of the caliber worthy of the great computers that fill the hallowed halls of melody, harmony, rhythm, and words that can only be appreciated by those who accept brush complexity. So liking 50% rush is simply not acceptable to us, we who have to live with false prog. And to those who say that you cannot have a live band perform progressive rock with only three people, I submit you observe Hemispheres, Jacob's Ladder, and Xanadu off of exit stage left. Drop the mic for all you haters out there. And if you still doubt, put the needle to clockwork angels, enough said. How dare you pretend that this can be solved with just Pro Tools and a home studio? With today's radio stations, the remaining prog greatness will be entirely gone within less than eight and a half years or so. And if I have to hear one more time that John Bonham is a better drummer than Neil Peart, I swear to you that my head will explode unintentionally and cover you with my 158Q. You are failing us, but the young people are starting to understand YouTube algorithms. I have come to the realization that I don't know half of you, half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of you, half as well as you deserve. Well, And finally, I demand that you like this video, share it with everyone while YouTube still exists. And most importantly, subscribe to the All About Rush YouTube channel. Thank you. <laughs>